If you're in the market for a new soundbar, you probably noticed an overwhelming number of options available. However, navigating through them all to find the one that's right for you may be daunting. In this video, I'll explore some of the best Samsung soundbars and help you make an informed decision. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these products, you can check out the links in the description below. And make sure you like the video, subscribe our channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates. Without further ado, let's get started with the list. Starting our list with number 5, we have the Samsung HWQ900T. The Samsung HWQ900T has a soundbar design that's attractive, simple, and unobtrusive with a wireless subwoofer and extra up-firing speakers that combine to create an impressive sound rivaling even the best home audio setups. There are 5.75-inch upward-firing speakers and 2-inch tweeters in each corner of the soundbar. The rear speakers are tuned for a wide soundstage and optimal sound dispersion. The Q900's main speakers can reproduce a wide frequency range and deliver deep, realistic sounds. The subwoofer increases the bass output while the 2-inch tweeters deliver crisp and clear sounds. The new Q900 is integrated with Samsung's new QELED TVs, which are equipped with Dolby Atmos and DTSX technology. This allows the soundbar to deliver a fuller, more immersive sound experience. The HWQ900T is compatible with both Alexa and Google Assistant. You can also expect impressive sound quality from the Samsung Q900 soundbar. It has 11 speakers and 16 drivers powered by two discrete amplifiers. The Q900 is also built with a 2.1 channel setup, and it's equipped with two tweeters and two downfiring subwoofers for better stereo effect and bass. It comes with seven virtual channels and two ports for HDMI arcs, audio return channel, and optical audio. The Q900 is also equipped with Bluetooth 4.2, and you can stream music from your smartphone using the TV's Bluetooth connection. At number 4, Samsung HWS40T. Samsung's HWS40T soundbar has decent sound, although it falls short of our best overall pick. However, the HWS40T's design, build quality, connectivity options, and music mode makes it a solid choice for anyone who wants a good, all-in-one soundbar. While you shouldn't expect mighty bass, the HWS40T's two-channel setup fills the room with high-quality sound overall and can also pump out voices and sound effects clearly. Its music mode is impressive and the only soundbar in our lineup to feature it. It works very well with most of Samsung's smart TVs, but it can't keep up with the Sonos one in connecting to AirPlay or Google Cast devices. The HWS40T is the only soundbar to include Google's free radio service. The HWS40T's design isn't as refined as Quadrat's on the HWH5, but it's solidly built and the curved shape accentuates its compact design, making it feel less obtrusive than most soundbars. The HWS40T's wireless subwoofer is hidden, although its placement is slightly more tricky than our top picks. The HWS40T also lacks wireless multi-room capabilities, which is slightly frustrating for music lovers who want to set up the rest of their home using Samsung's multi-room Alexa Smart Assistant. Number 3, we have the Samsung HWQ900A. The HWQ900A is among the best movie soundbars we tested. It's the first product to be certified by Dolby for Dolby Atmos and DTSX. It has the same 7.12 channels as the HWQ550, but its front-facing speakers are 2 inches larger. The 0.85-inch tweeters sit a bit farther back from the front, and the bass ampere is more elaborate. The soundbar has 6 HDMI inputs, an Ethernet port, optical audio out and an RC port, making it versatile for connecting to various video sources. The HWQ900 also has Bluetooth 4.2 for streaming audio from a smartphone or other device and a built-in 4-watt wireless subwoofer. The HWQ900A offers the impressive sound quality, solid bass, clear dialogue, and punchy mic range. Among the competitors, it's the most neutral sounding. The sub handles the lion's share of the bass and you'll still get the accurate sound across a wide range of frequencies. But its sound quality won't dazzle audiophiles, and there's still a noticeable bass boost when you turn the sub up. It's easy to get the volume settings wrong when using an app, 
and why you can get better sound out of the HWQ900 as Bluetooth connection than you do from your TV's built-in speakers. It's still not as good as what you get when a native connection is made. At number 2, Samsung HWQ800BZ. As one of the most affordable wireless soundbars we tested, the Samsung HWQ800BZ offers a lot of bang for your buck. It has an excellent QE Symphony sound engine, with two subwoofers, four mid-range speakers, and seven tweeters, which delivers highly detailed, room-filling sound. It also has powerful bass and excels when trying to fill a small room with deep, resonating tones. The built-in voice assistant is also convenient, and the soundbar has a physical volume dial, which makes adjusting the sound from your TV or soundbar easy. The HWQ800BZ also supports AirPlay 2, so you can easily play your favorite music through the soundbar. You can also use Alexa voice commands to control the soundbar and change the EQ settings on your device. The HWQ800BZ's main drawbacks are its lack of Dolby Atmos support and the app's limited functionality. To get the full experience, you'll have to connect an HR Link C700 soundbar or a wireless subwoofer, both of which have Sonos Connect built in. The HWQ800BZ does work with the Samsung TV app, but the app lacks navigation buttons and doesn't support Spotify or Deezer. And finally, the number one of our list, Samsung HWQ990BZ. The Samsung HWQ990BZ is a relatively inexpensive soundbar that delivers excellent sound quality. Though the bass is not quite as full as on more expensive models, it has 11.1 .1 channels, including two channels dedicated to rear speakers, so the sound fills the room from all sides. The Q990BZ also has one of the best sound settings, with adaptive sound, which automatically adjusts the sound based on what's happening on screen. It works well for movies and TV shows, and creates a realistic sounding home theater experience. The soundbar is also intuitive to use. You have to tap the voice button and say Alexa or ask what's on, and it will play back content. However, this soundbar lacks Dolby Atmos and DTSNX support, so it can't reproduce the booming effects of these newer sound formats. It also lacks a subwoofer, so if you want true deep bass, you'll have to shell out a lot more money. It also has no Chromecast support so you won't be able to stream content from a Chromecast-enabled device over Wi-Fi. And it doesn't output audio at high resolutions like 4K. But overall, this soundbar is worth the price, especially if your television and speakers are older models that can't support newer sound formats. As always, you will find all the links of these products in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, then like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more amazing videos like this.